In this video, we're gonna learn pigeonhole principle. The pigeonhole principle is a very simple principle which can be written as follows. If n plus 1 pigeons are distributed into n pigeon holes then there is at least one uh, pigeon hole with uh, two or more pigeons. It is very um, easy to understand, very simple, almost uh, obvious, but it can be used to prove quite complicated problems. So let's, let me give you some examples using pigeonhole principle. A1, A2, dot dot dot, AN are uh, integers. Then there is a consecutive integers, uh, a con consecutive subsequences, a consecutive subsequence whose sum is. divisible by n so let's prove this using pigeonhole principle the most difficult part in pigeonhole uh, applying pigeonhole principle is to set up it uh, is uh, to set up pigeons and pigeonholes so we need to specify which are pigeons and which are the pigeonholes so, because we want to have consecutive subsequence, so let's consider uh, a1 consecutive subsequences like this a1, a2, a1 to partial sum. So, in total, we have uh, n partial sums, so n partial sums. And we, we, we will consider these partial sums as the pigeons. So these are going to be uh, pigeons. And what are the pigeon holes? We divide this number by uh, n. So pigeon holes of. Okay. If we consider the ith partial sum which is a1 plus dot 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 plus a i we can find um, we can find a divider as let's say this has a remainder say r i when divided by by n so then r i can be an integer 1, 0, 1, 2, up to n minus 1. Okay. So we will consider these r i these numbers as pigeon pigeon holes. Consider this as pigeon holes. Suppose that we <coughs> one of our, one of the r i's is zero if r i equals zero for some i then a is one plus dot 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 a i uh, i is divisible by n in this case we are done 
this uh, in, in this case we are done because we know that there is a uh, con consecutive subsequence whose sum is div divisible by n is already done so we have to consider the other case so now suppose suppose that uh, ri is not equal to 0 for all i that means ri is now in the set 1 2 up to n minus 1 so we have uh, R distinct element, R distinct integers contained in this. So by pigeonhole principle, by the pigeonhole principle, uh, pigeonhole principle, uh, we have two integers i less than j such that ri is equal to rj because there are r n integers uh, which are in this set 1 up to n, uh, n minus 1 but this means let's so suppose that i is less than j because these two numbers are different we can assume that i is less than j that means uh, a1 plus dot 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 a1 i is congruent to a1 plus dot 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 aj modulo n because they have the same remainders <clears throat> but now if you move uh, these things if you uh, subtract both sides by a1 up to a ai we get 0 congruent to ai plus 1 plus ai plus 2 plus dot 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 aj Modulo n. This means that uh, the cons this is the sum of consecutive integers, uh, consecutive uh, subsequence. Uh, I would say consecutive subsequence. So in this case, we also have this, or we also have the required uh, property. So this is the end of the proof. Okay, uh, let me give you another example. Example. Uh, suppose that Alice drinks at least uh, one cup of coffee every day and she but sh she does not drink uh, more than 12 cups of coffee per week then uh, for for the next uh, 11 weeks there will exist consecutive days during which she drinks exactly 21 cups cups of coffee of course coffee <coughs> okay so let's <coughs> prove this using a uh, pigeonhole principle <coughs> so in order to solve this problem let AI be the number of cups number of cups of coffee uh, she drinks 
from the first day to the eighth day from day one to day i then because we are assuming that she drinks at least one cup of coffee uh, these will be all distinct a we will have this condition a i a one is positive integer a two a three etc and because we are <coughs> considering 11 weeks we have up uh, this number these are all distinct and they are increasing strictly increasing and the problem is to show that so we need to show we need to show that there are some integers aj minus ai whose difference is exactly 21 for some i uh, i less than j because this means that uh, this would mean aj this would mean that the number of the number of uh, cups of coffee that Alice drinks from day i plus one to day j is exactly twenty one. So it is enough to find this, or equivalently, a j is equal to a i plus twenty one. Okay. So we want to show that there are two integers i j satisfying this condition. So. Let's consider another sequence in order to show this. A1 plus 21, A2 plus 21, dot dot dot, A77 plus 21. Then what happens is that we know that A77 plus 21 is less than or equal to we know that Alice does not drink here uh, it says that uh, Alice does not drink more than 12 cups of coffee per week that means the seven, this is 7 week uh, 11, 11, 11 weeks so for in, in each week the maximum number of cups of coffee that she can drink is 12. So A77 is less than or equal to this, so it's plus 21, which is 153. If you compute this, it's 153. And now, uh, <clears throat> so now consider A1, A2, dot, 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 a seventy seven and a one plus twenty one. A one a seventy seven plus twenty one. These are all these are all integers in this set because the largest number is this, which is less than or equal to one seventy three. We have this condition, but here, how many integers do we have here? We have two times seventy seven, which is one fifty four. So there are we have to pick one seven one fifty seven integers out of this set. So by the pigeonhole principle, we have uh, two in two numbers. Oh, maybe. We have a i plus twenty one equals a j because these two the, if you select two numbers from here they are all distinct if you select two numbers from here they are all distinct so if you select if you can find two no, identical two equal numbers one of them must be in this in this part or not and the other one must be in this part so we must have this and of course i and j have to be different otherwise this cannot be happen so we have this for i different than j in this case 
of course j is bigger and a j minus a i equals 21 and then this means uh, number of cups from uh, day i plus 1 to j is exactly 21 and this is the end of the proof. Okay.